So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? Mm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. This whole plan depends on things like deception. It's not something we're very good at. God damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I think unfortunately that means we won't be able to fish with Javier for the next little bit because he's waiting for us with the Braithwaites and all. That is fine. That is fine. Well, let's go to sleep then. And who's closer? Who is closer? Josea's here. Javier's here. Or, John. That's John. Uh, we were just with Hosea. Let's hang out with John next. And when I say hang out, I really mean, you know, continue with our plan of getting in with the families. But for now, let's go to sleep. Writing your journal. Oh, speaking of journal... Saw Mr. Mason again. People, it's okay. We're gonna eat just five. I got us a score. Got something good. Good. This time he was taking pictures of wolves. Still doing his hardest to get himself eaten. Let me take you out sometime. I don't think so. Berries, dogs. Hey, what's going on over there? The <laughs> Dutch just say I was creeping him out. <laughs> hmm. Hello, Mr. Oh, that's All it. All you folk can thank Uncle Micah when the eating's good. You hear? <laughs> How much did you put in? Dutch, I'm not looking at you. Micah didn't put anything in. Whoa, Kieran, look at him go. Gold pocket watch, $10. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, well, apparently Dutch thinks I'm like creeping on him or something. He's gonna go to sleep then. Jeez, man, it's not like I want my tent to be next to yours. Oh, what about clothing? Do we want to mess with that for a little bit? Hats. Hello, ladies. Derby hat, state boss hat. Really? Huh. 
How do I get the freaking star to go away? Do I gotta select it? Oh, I gotta look at the color. Okay. I can keep hats on my horse. I don't like this hat. Yeah, how do I... How do I get... This will always stay on your horse. This hat is so ugly. Oh my gosh. Worn gambler's hat. Sure, I guess. Store on horse. Wait, can I do that to this hat? What? I can't remove it. Okay, no hat for now. Found hats, stolen hats. Ew! That bag hat. Outfits wise? The last thing that we bought was the Saint Denis. Yeah, okay, I guess we can wear- You know, I actually like what I'm wearing right now more than the Saint Denis. <laughs> Should I just go back to that for a little bit? The custom outfit. But... Mm, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll store this on the horse. Actually though, I don't like the hat. Can I take the hat off? <laughs> take the hat off? Yeah, okay. I'm okay with this. We'll go with this for a little bit then. Save this. Uh-huh, this is custom outfit one. What's two? Two is this one. Sure. I think I like it without the blazer. Doesn't look as hot and sweaty. Mm hmm. And next time when we get to a shopping place again, we'll shop for clothing for other temperatures. Oh, the innocent. When did we get that? Huh, the pursuer. The gambler is pretty nice though. I like it. I like that blazer. Okay. Go to sleep. Hey, Grimshaw. How about you keep me company? Really, Mr. Bell? Again? You flatter me. Tell me some stories. About when you was young and pretty. Before time ravaged you. <sighs> you horrible man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I think we've heard this mm. one before. What an asshole. <laughs> okay. Is that new? It's flashing. That's my mom, right? Beatrice Morgan. Spring Rocks. Morning, everybody. I'm full of energy. And apparently there's a new entry. Breathe, wait, manner. Moonshine. I've met some charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, the mother hen to that particular bunch of roosters, ain't one of them. A sour old jug of piss and bullshit I ain't never met. Even Hosea's charms were lost upon her. She refused our offer of selling her back her shine, and instead got us to give it away to annoy the saloon owners in town. Hosea put on quite a show until we got interrupted by the bastards we robbed when grabbing the stuff. We just about escaped. On the other hand, I met this poor bastard gray boy, Bo. And his forbidden love, Miss Penelope, quite the most alive creature we have met down here. Suddenly, I'm marching as a suffragette. The looks of loathing on the faces of the locals delighted me, while their leader, a Mrs. Calhoun, amused me. I don't know much about good causes, nor the types of joys of democracy, but I enjoyed my little experience riding alongside them. 
world is certainly changing fast. Yeah, today you might be saying voting is not your thing. But maybe in a few years, that won't be the case anymore. Morning, Strauss. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. I've done all of them. They better be. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Take care, Arthur. I've done all of them, actually, Strauss. You can give me more if you want. <laughs> no, actually, don't give me more, please. Yeah, just like I expected. We can't go fishing with Javier right now. Which is fine. There she is. Good morning. Morning. Let's head to John in Rhodes then. Never easy leaving the fire. Yeah. Hey, little buddy. Let's set out. All the way in Rhodes. This part isn't even. This is part of the plantations. Whose plantation is this? The Greys, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's get going. Oh, I still have the pelts on me. I should bring that to a butcher or somebody. Especially because the longer I have them on my horse, the bigger of a risk of them going away once I die. <laughs> There's a butcher right here. Can I just sell you the pelt? Ah, it's right here. Mm, it's really only worth 75 cents though, because the condition's pretty poor. Major damage. Probably because we didn't use the right weapon. I didn't check for the wolf pelts. For. Okay. Have some big game meat. Doing business with you. So that we can possibly get more later on. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Much appreciated. Lightens my load. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Now we continue heading off to John. Oh my lord! Oh my god, there's so much horse poop everywhere. Oh! Something's here. Oh, that's new. Is it you? You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? I, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself... A fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me. I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please, don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. See, when Arthur does things like this, it's very obvious he's a good guy at heart. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's End. Okay, thanks. Macomb's End. How far away is that? And this is something you can't decide, right? 
Arthur just has to do this as he hears this. So he really is a good guy at heart. But something something, hanging out with the wrong crowd, growing up around the wrong people, something like that. He doesn't even just care about his own gang, he cares about this random guy sitting on the road too. Why would you be upset at him? He's a freaking doctor! I can't, like, what, under what circumstances would you be upset at a doctor? Maybe if you're like a Grey, and you find out that the doctor is healing a Braithwaite or something. <laughs> yeah, that might be a possible situation. Okay, well, the doctor is stranded, and he can't do anything without his wagon, so we gotta get it back for him, don't we? Mmm, he said not to get into trouble on his behalf. Uh, there, I am so sorry! Morning, partner. Sorry, mister. <laughs> I don't know. Like, our priority is getting the wagon back. But, uh, are we gonna do anything to the people who took the wagon? I'll have a think. I'll have a think. Yeah. We don't know why they were bad to this doctor, though. Is it really just because he's into the medical field? Or is it because he's black? Or is it both? So depending on which one it is, maybe they're not gonna treat me the same way. Can we cut across here? Uh, no, I think that's probably a little bit too deep for me to cut through. Let's just stay on the road. Why can I never stay on the road? <laughs> yeah, enjoy some nice scenery. Hopefully we don't crash into anybody this time. It's just that I have no idea how close we are when we're in this mode. This is sort of around the region where we took the moonshine from the Lemoyne Raiders. Maybe not such a good territory to be in. Hmm. <laughs> Killed a bunch of them earlier, but that's probably not all of them. They'll be back. They'll be back. Like, is moonshine illegal? I'm not sure what part of the operation is illegal. Maybe they don't have a license to do that, or... is. The product Moonshine itself illegal? I feel like it shouldn't be because cigarettes are okay. Other alcohols seem to be okay too. Are we close to getting to the place at all? Not quite. We can probably go a little bit faster. Oh! Are we going back to the fishing village here? Better find another way around. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Uppity, ain't he? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. You want us to whip you like we would, you uppity chum? Go on. Okay. Is it possible for me to get out of this whole thing without engaging in them? If I stealthily take his wagon? One easy option is to just kill everybody here. But maybe we can sneak around or something? Would that be a thing? We could try. Catch your breath, boy. Obviously, we're gonna have to get our weapons, which we already have, so that's great. Um, maybe it'll be a good time to take a Miracle Tonic or something, too. We're okay, a little bit low on Dead Eye. Mm, dead Eye. Whoa! Oh my! I was already getting. Oh. Where's the damn wagon? What the heck? Oh my god, I didn't even get to... Is 
This is not good. I guess I stayed around their field of view for a little bit too long. And they just weren't having it. <laughs> they didn't like the sight of me eating salted venison. They're a little bit too far. Maybe I'll use my rifle here. They don't seem to be coming over here anyway. You know? Am I not holding a rifle? Oh. No, that's a Lancaster repeater. Oh, this is the rifle. I have it in a different slot than usual, so I got confused. Hmm? How come I can't seem to zoom in right now? Hold on though, I definitely need to get a little nearer. I don't see them. How many more do we got? Uh, it's hard to see them. It's so foggy here. There's one guy kind of far away. Maybe this bolt action rifle doesn't have a... I don't know why I can't seem to scope. Again, a little strange. Yeah, judging by the amount of people here, I'm guessing it wasn't possible for us to uh, just take the wagon and go. <laughs> Probably not. Technically, they attacked me first, so it's okay that I'm hanging back around to loot them, right? No one's gonna get mad at me for that, especially because I'm the sheriff. The goddamn sheriff around here. You see that badge on my chest? Come on, people. Seriously though, could I... Is something wrong with my gun, or...? Hmm. Well, whatever. Not a big deal. Do we want to check their houses at least? Not too much going on in here. There is a wagon. The wagon probably has a ton of medical supplies. Were they planning on taking it? I don't really know. Doesn't matter either way. Colds, Goddard, Cholera, Dr. Reynolds Medicine Company. It's doing a good thing. Let me check out some of these houses if we can. We can't! Anything else here worth looking at? Maybe not so much. Okay then. Okay, come on. Get you back to the dock. Get here. Watch out, little Shire. Don't get run over. Well, that went pretty much as we would normally expect that kind of event to go. Although I did really want to try sneaking around a little bit. They got annoyed at me, even though I was so far away. Maybe it's because they could still see me. I don't know. Coach incoming. Focus your fire. Oh! Two guys. That's it. Why do they want this wagon so badly? 
Well, you know, the fact that they took the wagon, it makes me wonder if this is actually racially motivated because in those cases, would they not want to just trash everything? They'd be like, oh, I don't like anything you're doing right now. I don't like anything about you. So I'm gonna just destroy all your supplies, destroy your wagon, kill your horses. But no, they took it back. So maybe they want to sell it for money or something. Don't worry, little horsies. We'll be back to your owner in no time. What's that thing on the, the roof of this wagon supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know. Keep walking, boys. Ah, uh, you know this feather, don't you? Oh my. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Bye. Special health cure pamphlet. This medicinal tonic features yarrow. Variants were first used by the ancient Greeks. Mace, when mixed and boiled with ginseng, is a great blood purifier and quickly restores full health. It was called life medicine by Indians who use it to break fevers and colds, boost health, and apply to wounds. Used as an analgesic and overall health booster, the Chinese use it in all manner of treatments, including treating disease of the bowels. Apparently it doesn't work for anything chronic though, but we're pretty healthy, right? We should be okay. Thank you, knowledge. That's always welcome. A pamphlet. <laughs> Even though he gave me an entire book, it only turned into a pamphlet. Okay. Hey, after that mission, Dutch is mysteriously looking for me now. It's kind of ominous. Back at the camp. You know, you looking for me? Find out more about the bounty hunters that Trelawney mentioned. Who? Oh. Okay. It's okay. We were heading to John, right? John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Let's get going then. Where did my little Shire go? Oh! I'll put the thing... We don't even need the marker. <laughs> it's like right on the main road. We're really close to it. While I'm on you, I'm gonna switch back. Oh, I can't mess with my weapons here because we're in roads. Hmm. That's okay. We'll do it outside then. Oh, whoa! I walked into somebody's place. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there is a Gray's place. You can see it right here. Me and Dutch. Caliga Hall. Yeah, me and Dutch are familiar with the Greys, but John and Javier? Is everybody in our gang kind of all friendly with them now? Kind of get the feeling that as long as you hate the Braithwaites, you'll be friendly with the Greys. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. Hey. Arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. 
out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Thank you. Uh, before we do that, is it alright if I clean my Shire a little bit first? He does look kind of dirty here. In roads, it's very sandy. So the Shire looks like he's covered in a layer of dirt. Poor thing. Have some food. And we'll get going. Stables. Is that a different horse? Tennessee Walker. Hmm. I really want to get a thoroughbred or something. That was a one horse that I saw a long time ago, back near Blackwater. But then it just sort of ran away. And then the cops started looking for me. It's like the horse called the cops on me. Good men. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. Who are you? Like I said, we had a run of bad luck in the West. Lost some money on a failed railway speculation. We heard good men could do well in this country. Sure. And bad men. We haven't recovered as much as I hope from the war. My family try. My sons are good boys, but it's been hard. Like I said, some people in the area will hold us back forever. We need stability. <laughs> I'm sure. We're an old Scottish family. We work. My daddy taught that to me. I taught my sons. Work hard, but fair. <sighs> we approach Rhodes with the intention of manipulating them so we can get their money. But what if we just stay here and act like good people from now on? Is that all right too? I wonder. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. Whoa! 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. I want to ask, can I have one of those horses? Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Oh my god. It's even the breed I want. I want to ask about yeah. that, but I don't really want to ride a $5,000 horse. What if it dies? <laughs> That's... I don't think I would be able to handle that. So I'm perfectly okay with riding um, a $10 horse. That's fine with me. <laughs> Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Hosea and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. 
We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. It's a lot of so dang we money. Play this. The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. The oh! Here? Goodness. Are you alright? Now, I was saying, we should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Yeah, there, boy. Get here! I feel like my luck with the Shire is running out. They're telling me, you gotta switch horses soon, or else we're gonna do something to him. Oh, it's making me scared. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> Alright then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment. With Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. <laughs> we don't even have to say who we came to see, because they're all Braithwaites. Oh, God, my dear how are we gonna get out? If we ride the horses away, they might be a little afraid to shoot us because they don't want to harm the horses. That could be a good thing. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Three armed men, though. And it's not my first time here. Catherine Braithwaite has seen me before. So has Penelope. I really don't think I should be coming on this mission with you guys. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. You guys should be separating out who associates with the Braithwaite family and who associates with the Greys. Let's hitch up here. Cause at this rate, someone's gonna come kill me. Let me do the talking. You're not that good at that, you know. <laughs> do I want to bring weapons? Probably. Ooh, I gotta maintain that. Is it alright if I do that right now? <laughs> Sorry, Javier, John. Just, uh, just give me a second. It's a little bit random, but I gotta do it right now. Gotta do it right before a potential fight. Am I right? Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. Wow. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. 
He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is old father time. Javier is <laughs> like, favorite oh horse. my god. Uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. I didn't want to kill that guy right at the, the door here. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, easy. Easy now. Whoa. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, now, easy. You get here, boy? Easy now. All right. And we just do it like we belong here. No one will question us. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! What I the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! We'd probably be less noticeable if we weren't wearing bandanas, but that's not... Oh god, I'm sorry. It's not personal, I swear. More coming this way! Out of the fields! Maybe they won't shoot us? Watch out by that wagon! The other one? Shoot the horses either. We'll be fine, maybe. There's a gap in the fence. We can get out that way. And don't. Oh, don't. See if we God. Get rid of them in the trees. Don't shoot the plantation people. They didn't do anything, and they're not armed. I think we lost them. That quickly? I don't know about that. Oh! No, look out! There's more of them on the road! Goddamn horse rustler! You'll hang for the Yup. Hanging in here somehow. Oh you see any more of them? No? Don't think so. Alright. Let's get these horses to Clemens Cove, quick, before we run into any more trouble. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Hey there, boy. He's really... Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Yeah. Oh my god! Gotcha! Hey, now! Hold L2? I can release L2, it's saying. Sorry, buddy, you gotta follow me, alright? Calm down a little bit. Come on now. Oh lord, I don't know what I don't know what I ran over. <laughs> hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Buddy, calm down, alright? Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> Did want to study them, if that's okay. It's not. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Where did this info come from anyway?
Hey. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John. Arthur. Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. <sighs> it's a pretty big discrepancy. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Total take, gang, 350. Yeah. It's, uh, money-wise, I mean, we're not really in need of money anymore. Hey, we did pretty good today. Hmm. Actually, kill the stable hand, isn't that required? <laughs> oh. Oh, maybe we could have just lassoed him or something. So we didn't get too much money today, and what we really did was rile the whole thing up even more. Now the Braithwaites. Because I assume they know that anything bad happening to them is because the Braithwaites, or the Greys, asked for it. <laughs> so now the Greys are angry, and the Braithwaites are angry, and they're only gonna get angrier and angrier. You back already? Always good to see. Yeah. Oh, Javier is available for fishing. Do we want to go do that? Don't really want to miss out on it, huh? Even though we got $700, feel like people are pretty upset that it's not 5,000 or anywhere close to 5,000. 700 is only a little bit more than half of 1,000. That's... That's a little depressing. He's still here. Morning. How y'all doing? Morning, dear. Morning. Hey, I haven't seen you around in a while, Charles. God, it's so annoying how everywhere we go, everyone always questions Javier. And probably Charles, too. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. Pearson. No, it's 8 a.m. We should go fishing. Why are you pacing around? Just sit. That Braithwaite job was a lot of work for not enough money. I was just doing what Dutch asked us to. You got a brain of your own, don't you? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep. I don't know if we do or not. The brain of this gang is Dutch, right? Are we allowed to have opinions? <sighs> maybe we'll talk- oh. I was gonna say maybe we should go talk to Dutch, but that's a mission. Let's go fishing with Javier. We've been waiting a while, and I've got all this like legendary bait and whatnot. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. Want to show me some legendary fishing spots? There's a spot 
Not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Okay, let's go. Missed you, boy. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. I wonder if Javier saying breakfast is dependent on the time yeah, of day. Because yeah. it actually is breakfast time right now. Huh. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, mm. you, you don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. And despacio. We'll cut through to the right here. Well, yeah, Dutch could be doing better, but so could we. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahassee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahassee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Because English is horrible and sucks, that's why. <laughs> okay, it's just down the hill here. Ooh, I like it. Seems like a secluded little spot. Oh, wow. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> I'm right here. Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Heck yeah. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on. Let's go see what's biting. Anything legendary around here? You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Okay. Right here. What's my bait? We got all sorts of bait today, right? Bread, corn, cheese, worm, crayfish, and then lure. Oh, bobber fishing versus lure fishing. Uh, the spot we're at right now, is it considered a lake? Or a swamp? It's not a swamp, probably. But it's not quite a lake either. It's really small. Yeah, I guess I'll just use a normal thing for now. Cornfish. This spot is really small. Hard for two people to um, fish at the same time, isn't it? Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. No bites yet. We're lucky we got such nice weather, but rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Don't think I got a very good spot today. No bites at all. Well, 
I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. <laughs> Remember that story about how... Do we have it equipped already? No, I think we gotta... Reset it. The story about how Arthur was buying fish from the market to pretend that he got it from fishing. <laughs> Dang, already? Excellent for attracting medium-sized river fish. It's a river. He's a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. I threw this one really crappily. Okay, let's try for another. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Mean Street got meaner and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Hey, this isn't working out. <laughs> you got one! Finally! Make sure he's tired before you reel in. Another one. It's not moving at all. This is an angry one. Ooh. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Five pounds, smallmouth, bass. Eaten baked or pan fried, these flaky meat fish grow larger in females than males. They prefer to strike crickets. Oh, keeping you. Five pounds. It's almost noon. Fish will stop biting soon. Because of the bugs? Yeah, they only feed in the morning and evening when it's cool and the bugs are out. So maybe we try a few more and then head back. Fine with me. That might be a little bit too close. <laughs> I really have asked that one. Another one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. You good at this. You're better than you let on. <laughs> right at the shore. Five pounds, six ounces. Okay. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh you keep trying for these bastards? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll come. Okay, let's go. Well, it was nice to uh, hang out with you a bit. Nice to just have some one-on-one -on -one time with people in the gang. Talk about Dutch. Yeah, we learned that Dutch and Como Drisco used to be, you know, they used to have an understanding. That's new information. But it doesn't seem like that's really the case anymore, is it? Hey, speaking of which, we haven't bumped into any of the O'Driscolls for a while. Yeah, for a long while, right? Are they mainly on the Valentine side of things, I guess? 